Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I have Mike, another question. Okay. All right, so um, everybody's familiar with the MMP version of the handgun that Smith & Wesson makes. Yes. And... I'm a firm believer in that Smith & Wesson actually took a Glock and made it their version, but more people can compare with the Smith & Wesson over the Glock, in my opinion. So yeah. what is your take on that? Without getting too deep into it, you know what I mean, uh, this, the M&P, you know, great gun, you know what I mean? Uh, if you If you know and understand guns you look at the mmp it's a lot of glock like characteristics you know what i mean Correct. Um, Correct. they were not able to successfully do the things we've done anytime you add to a system you complicate it you compound it mm -hmm. you know what i mean so you know we you know we we've been able to keep our parts very very minimal you know which means less stuff that can break less stuff that can go wrong uh the mmp good pistol we don't we don't you know we don't go around bashing other competitors and stuff like that that's not my forte uh but I will tell you this, that when you add to the system, you add to it, you know, you got more stuff that can go wrong, more stuff that can break. So, yeah, the m &P, uh it has a lot of Glock-like characteristics, though, yes. Yeah. Um, one thing that I, one thing I, would, I would add to this here, and I'm by no means a Glock expert or anything like that, um, but in, in my experience, a lot of people say that Glocks look really simple, and I think they are simple, but simplicity is genius. So there's exactly, to me, I feel like there's exactly what you need in the Glock. It's all there, and and it looks simple, but I don't think it's as it's as simple as it looks. Like people always say, oh, you know, you could it's it's just a couple of parts in a Glock. It's actually way more complicated than that. And I think people yeah. find out when they're building these Glock clones, right? Because there's videos out there where people think, oh, you could just slap these Glock clones together like building an AR. And from my experience of us. Uh, uh, building like those polymer 80s etc it's fun but it's not as easy as it looks yeah absolutely man i'm glad you touched on that uh the glock you know it is a simple pistol but it's there's still a whole lot of research and development that goes into it to making sure everything is precise you know our quality control is precise you know what i mean our everything that we do man it, it, it's it's on a strenuous uh, uh regime and the problem with, 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 with the Glock, people think it's so simple. It's probably the most modified handgun on the planet. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, because people think it's so simple, but what they end up doing, they end up making all these modifications, and now they end up running around with a fighting pistol or an everyday carry pistol that's unreliable, and they don't even know it. I always mm -hmm. tell people, Hank, that just because you like guns and you shoot them doesn't mean you understand guns. So yeah. When I teach an armors course, I want you to go away from my class. And I want you to truly understand how the system works. So when you and I'm not against aftermarket parts, you just need to know what I tell folks is that when you put aftermarket parts in your gun, it's like taking medication. That's the analysis that I use. Uh, so, for an example, I take high blood pressure medication. Right. So mm -hmm. I know when I take this medication, they give me a damn warning label. They say it may cause all these things. Right. Mm -hmm. So but when you. When you use aftermarket parts, there's no warning label. So there's side effects that you don't know about. Mm. And then you, you start doing things to the gun because you, you think it's so simple. But every time you start changing something and modifying something, you compromise that legendary reliability that Glock is known for. And if it's a fun gun, if it's a competition gun, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you know do what you need to do to it. I understand trying to get that competitive advantage. I get that part of it. But a fighting gun, you know, you can't afford to come in second place with a fighting gun. You know what I mean? And yeah. we see that all the time. That's probably one of the biggest things with our pistol. People try to modify them. Yeah. And they do all these things to them. And, and I always tell people, prettier doesn't necessarily mean better. No. You know what I mean? So. Not at all. I mean, so for example, like I have a Glock on, uh, on my hip right now, right? Glock 43. Um, there's no modifications to it whatsoever now do what do do i modify glocks i've done that absolutely and we've got some what people call gucci glocks which yeah, absolutely is, yeah man. There's, there's a question about that but that's not what i carry um let me see what, what someone asked the uh some there was a question here someone wanted to know what was your take on gucci glocks 
So if we want to get into that now, this will probably be well, a good, yeah. a good Gucci to... Glocks, in, even in my training classes, I always mm-hmm. ask people, what is the application? What is the what are you gonna do with this? Is, is this a fun gun? You gonna go, uh, you know, you gonna go to the range with your buddies and make an Instagram video? Mm-hmm. Hey, rock on with your bad self. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But if you start talking about fighting guns and stuff like that, self defense guns, you know, I, I, I stand firmly against uh, Gucci Glocks in reference to 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 fighting pistols. You know, and the thing is, you may get them to work for a little while. And and here's how people get fooled: they Gucci them up. And they get them to run, okay. Uh, but every time you use that gun, playing around with it, you know, you are actually wearing stuff down. So mm-hmm. there's no way around it. You just simply compromise the whole system when you start gooching them up. For example, uh, you take and you start to mill out the slide. They do all these so-called lightning cuts. You know, I, I tell folks that I like to call it sexing the gun up. They like to sex it up and make it look pretty. Uh, well, mass is my friend. If I start milling and cutting into my slide. Now I got to start fine tuning like a hot rod car because now I've just reduced all the mass that was my friend. So now when I reduce my mass, I got to start messing with springs. When you start messing with springs, it's going to affect how it runs with certain types of ammunition. Mm-hmm. So all these things. Come the domino play. effect. Domino yeah, effect. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, all, so all these things all come up through play. that. <laughs> yeah, and people bring yeah. us guns back to the factory raising yeah. holy hell. And my gun mm-hmm. ain't working, yada, yada, yada. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, you've done all these things to it. That is the first thing we do to a gun when we get one back. When I worked up in warranty for years, technical mm-hmm. services, I get a gun. The biggest thing we would see is is freaking aftermarket parts. Gun's not running, whatever. Take that gun, build it back up to factory specifications, go down to the range, shoot five or six different types of ammunition, get three or four different shooters. So now I know this gun is working. Some shooters are good, some shooters are bad, but the gun is running. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three months later, same gun comes back. Was he done to it? Put the same aftermarket stuff back off in there. So the aftermarket (laughs) world is big. And so we just try to make people understand that, you know, what is the application? You know, you can't just start doing what you want to do to the gun and not know the side effects. There's always side effects. When these guns are spec'd out, Hank, Mm -hmm. they're spec'd out. The formula that we use, man, in reference to how much mass we're going to need, how much uh, how strong the springs need to be. All mm-hmm. this stuff is meticulously, you know, specked out. Yeah. So when you start jacking around with it, you compromise everything. That's why it's important. Is this a fun gun mm-hmm. or is this a fighting gun, an everyday gun? You know, you have to yeah. ask yourself that. Yeah, I see. And by the way, I, I think um, I think Mike has a question. I have a super chat that I'm going to do. But let me just say this real quick. I um, see Glock in a lot of ways like a Porsche, for example, right? You know, it's a... a to me, I'm into cars, so that to me is like a fine, uh, it's one of the best cars in the world, I think, the Porsche 911, let's say 911 uh, Turbo S, that's, that's my favorite car, I do not own one, I've driven them or whatever, I would like to <laughs> own one, um, but, you know, when you get that from the factory, it's already a really good car, people modify it and all that, once you start modifying those things and adding to it, and you're messing, you're messing up the entire balance of all that engineering that these guys developed, for sure, there's like more powerful cars, faster cars, all of that kind of stuff. Supercars way above that. But there's a reason for that, and I think that happens with Glock as well. There's people who say that Glocks are too cheap. There's people who say they're too expensive. <laughs> I think they're just right in price. I know there's a lot of competitors out there that uh, that are uh, a lower price, and I don't. And you know, they're they're cool. I'm not trying to knock them either. But they're not as good, and there's guys who are more expensive and also not as good. I think it's a really well, uh, well balanced gun. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.